I'm 05 now. Happening today, Hillsborough County school leaders working to find out what's next after they opted to not renew the charters of several charter schools. Now the State Department of Education is threatening to withhold funding. ABC Action News reporter Lauren Rosella explains why they made that decision and the reason the state's pushing back. Today, the Hillsborough County School Board will meet to discuss the fallout from their decision not to renew the charters of four charter schools and limit the charters of two others. These include Kids Community College Charter High School, Pivot Charter School, South Shore Charter Academy, and Woodmont Charter School. In this letter from the State Commissioner of Education, Richard Corcoran, he said by not renewing these charters, the board may have violated state law and is now threatening to withhold funding from the district. He cited that none of these schools were below a C rating and many of the students are coming from disadvantaged homes. Corcoran also says the district did not give the required 90-day notice to the charters if they weren't going to renew. However, school board members say they have good reason to deny the charter, citing financial issues and conflicts of interest within the schools. Also, problematic academic records. With all of that and additional money and getting a PPP private loan, these charters are still not doing as well as public schools. And so why do we continue to support them and not do a better ed job educating the taxpayers? Board member Dr. Stacy Hahn also brought up problems at two of the schools when it comes to providing for children with special needs. Violating a student's civil rights, not implementing an education plan, that has grave concern for me. Hillsborough County Schools also loses millions of dollars each year when kids leave the district for charter schools. Corcoran has given the district until today to respond to his letter. The meeting starts at 930 this morning. In Tampa, I'm Lauren Rosella, ABC Action News.